This is the crazy story of that one time how I landed an interview with the CEO of Apple. Hi, I'm James, I'm a filmmaker, and I'm legally blind. Due to Apple's powerful yet easy to use built-in accessibility features for the blind and low vision, I've been able to pursue filmmaking, even with a lack of sight. In 2016, I wanted to create a short movie celebrating the accessible tech in my daily life. In the process, I realized the majority if not all were Apple products. I made a movie entitled How Apple Saved My Life. I won't get into the details of what I mean by saved, but you can watch it for yourself. The video began getting picked up by tech blogs and had eventually made its way to Apple's headquarters. Within a few days, Apple reached out to me about the video and they liked it later that night though something happened something i didn't expect and neither did the pr rep the video made its way all the way to the ceo himself tim cook apparently he was so moved by it that he was willing to tweet it to his two million followers this caught me completely off guard within 10 minutes of the tweet i was contacted by a producer for good morning america we conducted an interview over a video call that night i told my parents and they were excited to see me on gma that week cnn and the huffington post had also done pieces on the story i was having a great week up until i realized a few days had gone by and gma still hadn't aired the interview apparently it was pulled thanks to breaking Donald Trump news, like that guy needed any more press. But it wasn't about me or the fact that Tim Cook was giving attention to an amateur filmmaker. The movie was about the impact that companies can have on their consumers when they don't make accessibility an afterthought, much like the impact that Apple had on me in my life. So come next week and yeah, the video gradually gained more views, but that was that. It was merely a spike, but I couldn't just quit there. So as the year went on, I kept hustling. I kept creating, speaking out, and getting more involved than ever before with accessibility activism. Almost one year after the Tim tweet went out, I had been invited to speak at their headquarters on the topics of disability and accessibility. I, along with fellow YouTuber Ricky Pointer, known for her activism for the deaf community, headed up north to Cupertino. On the way, we met actress Tatiana Lee, who actually starred in an Apple ad. The three of us had discussions moderated by the Director of Accessibility at Apple, Sarah Herlinger. After our talk, that afternoon we were informed that we'd be speaking with the CEO himself the next day. We had a night to prep our questions for an on-camera interview with Tim Cook. As Tim arrived, we greeted and made an order of coffee. He told me that he was a fan of my videos. Some of the Topics included automation in the home, Steve Jobs' priority to make the Mac accessible, even decades ago, and human rights. So that was the story of how I landed an interview with Tim Cook. Some people might just want to say that I got this opportunity because of my disability, and to that I say, yeah, you're probably right. But it's the man hours, the, the hard work, the hustling that I put in that led me to this point. So my advice to you is just, just keep working, keep creating, and eventually life will surprise you with opportunities that you won't believe that are right in front of you. So just, just keep at it.